know the format just yet don't worry i'll walk you through it okay look at the bottom right hand corner you will see two logos the logo on the left is the team that wins the coin toss the logo on the left is the team that gets to make the first ban gets to pick the first map as well okay the team on the left of course that loses the coin toss they get a lesser priority now each team can ban one map now let's see exactly which map gets banned out here because it looks like infinite has been able to win this coin toss so infinite bans out crossfire vitality bans off takeoff right and of course, let's see exactly where will Infinite want to fight Hardpoint. Infinite says, let's get down and dirty at standoff. So the hotel yard is going to be well lit by both of these teams. Now, take a pause. Before we go into the map number two, the teams, both teams cannot pick the same map more than one time which means if we get pushed into five matches we will see five maps guaranteed no maps will be able to get repeated so let's see exactly what vitality gets in here for search and destroy and they want to bring it down back to basic down in here towards firing range let's see exactly how they go ahead to secure that for themselves infinite will be able to go in and pick domination and they want to play this at hackney yard we've already seen exactly how this pans out whether or not the distraction gameplay can secure them the victory or will it be straightforward We'll be bringing it down towards the Cold Cold Summit for a hard point if we get pushed into game number four. And of course, if game number five is ever required from these two XDG teams, the side of Infinite wants to finish this off at rate. So there you go. But are we done? No, we are not done. One final thing to ban in here for each team. Each team can now ban one operator skill, which is a game changer, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for the pro scene for Call of Duty Mobile. So let's see exactly what Infinite and Vitality go in and ban. Off Gravity Vortex Gun removed by Vitality. Sparrow is a no-go, says Infinite. Now, the Gravity Vortex Gun is not really an item that is used that much in terms of an operator skill. And clearly, what Vitality is trying to do here for themselves is they are saying, look, let's go in here for the basics, right? We don't want to ban out most and be good enough to annihilate so many of these players from, you know, multiple situations, right? So let's see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, game number one. And this is gonna be a play at standoff. Hotel Yard will open things up in here. Let's see exactly how the teams take it. Beautiful opener. And it's a KRM2, the face sort of a gameplay XTJ. Okay, this one's gonna be a hard one, right? Uh, Vitality. Okay, let's just call them Vitality and Infinite. Vitality on the red side, Infinite on the blue side. And so far, Alan just looks like he's just annihilating his opponents. XTG looking to pick up a few highlight moments here for themselves in through the form of Alan as well as his brand Infinite. But Vitality is the one with most of these points from that hotel yard. XDG in with the play. Back to back in here. Gets flashed in the face. Dustin with his opportunity. Bison takes down one of her opponent in here. Aquino with a two-piece. Beautiful hold so far by Justin. Doesn't get taken down. A moment of panic there. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. Still will be able to hold on to this at least for that very moment until All Right snuffs him out with a KRM. And now we will be able to go in for the push. Hard point number two. And this is the rotation towards Warehouse. Nine bars. KRM to the face. Switches over towards the chopper as well. Gonna be able to say infinite hold on to this hard point. Beautiful jump shot there. KRM to the face. Pulls out the chopper. Final moment. Nine bars. Clutch game plays back to back. KRM to the chest and still in here with the hard point. All thanks to this crazy place by Nine Bars. And finally, he will fall. Here comes the place right back through for the team Vitality. 45 to 20. XDG Infinite. Opportunity to pull the hard point back now. Squandered. But will they be able to do it now with the approach? Back-to-back, -back, multiple players. Oh, 
just lining themselves up for the takedown. But they will be able to get some scrap points. Vitality is already on the rotation. And they want to dominate hard point number three. And this is going to be house, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. QXR now on to the approach. 54-33, Vitality gets eliminated by Infinite. All thanks to Vinci. Ace onto the approach. QXR allows that uh, extra room for mobility here. But it's not going to be as easy to take your opponents down. A little low on the damage. Fire rate crazy. But you need to close that distance off first. Annihilator. This was an operator skill that was open. Not used to perfection at all. Gets taken down. Absolute waste of leaving the Annihilator still available in the game. 53, 61 in here. XDG, Infinite, Vitality. Vitality with the lead. 66 to 53. Infinite still trying to make a fight back in here. House does not get controlled much by Infinite. And Vitality will still be holding on to the points. Final 12 seconds. Are we going to be able to see Infinite drop right back in here with the challenge? Aquino! trying to prevent and he does exactly that with the equalizer they don't equalize but they will pull away with those points and this is now a rotation a far rotation but the area has already been secured by xdg vitality take a look at the bottom left hand corner of your screen that is the map and Vitality has already been able to drop into the bakery and bake this bread, keeping a long line. Now, of course, it is going to be all right in here with the opportunity to take a sneak peek in with the Annihilator. Get skill number one opportunity once again and does not go in for the takedown. And the back-to-back -back lethals will drop right in front of him, taking him out of the equation. XDG Vitality have been able to do just enough to pull in front and Infinite has got not many responses for the questions that are being dished out here. 124 to 53. 10 more seconds. Scrap points once again. Going to XDG Infinite. Pulled right back by Vitality. What is going on in here? Infinite wants the hotel. Yeah, they've gone for the early rotation. Vitality so smart. Dropping in with none other than Justin to pick up those scrap points for themselves. And Vitality now once again opening up the hard point. Hotel Yard going to be secured by the Predator Missile getting dropped in by Justin as well. This is the sight in the hands of Justin. And he will be able to dominate for just a moment. Cluster Strike back to back by both teams being dropped in. Which means the game does not come to a close. Infinite dropping in to pick those points up. But is this going to be too late? I can tell you this is too late. Infinite is not going to be able to get the clutch unless they come up with a monstrous gameplay, but that is just impossible. Vitality with just needing 10 more points to close this off, and right now just 3 more. The game is all over. XDG sees the better side in Vitality. One more point. Infinite trying to just extend their lifeline. You know, get over this dilemma. It is of course the side of, yeah, it still doesn't help me, man. Justin picking up the MVP for himself. 25-11-15 on the KDA. Team Blue will be able to pick the wearing range, search and destroy. So it's not going to be too much of a challenge in terms of the map that this game is played on. What, of course, will decide things is the strategy that is pulled off on what can be an unassuming basic map. Firing range in here. Opportunity with the opener. Aquino with the drop. QXR. And now this is a white warehouse hold. Dixie now dropping for Boonies as well as Aquino. The response right back through. And Justin getting a frag onto all right. That Nate is falling through perfectly. Trophy system gameplay very weak as Justin will be able to secure yet another kill for himself. Two piece in so far. Bison doing Great. DLQ trying to spot out the player right in front of him. Question is, are we going to be able to see him pull this off? What a clutch hit. X just moves in. Vinci gets taken out, but it's now a one-on-one. -on -one. Are we going to be able to see this QXR pull it off, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Goes in for the shot, and that Bison will be able to secure the round. 
for the side of XDG Infinite. They didn't manage to pick the victory up in game number one. This might just be the comeback. Mark trying to spot out the early cross. No cross coming in. Why? Because it is a rush down towards Bravo. Warehouse number four onto the attack. PT19 buys a yokai into his hands. Takes he takes him out. Hits on the ground. And they should be able to go in for a plant. XDG Infinite taking an early, early commanding round number two in here. Mark with the opportunity. DLQ but responds right back through. Pavon is right now getting taken down with the explosion at the vehicle. Nine bars, opportunity, chopper on the sleigh and now leaving Vitality with just Mark on here. The LQ 33 is not gonna be easy, but he does manage to shut down all right. <sighs> Jigsy as well as his PP19 Bison. Once again, with the mag presenting so many of those bullets to spam, making it a very, very exploitable meta gun in this season. Are we going to be able to see more of XDG Vitality? Because at the moment, doesn't seem like they are going to be lasting very, very long in here. And as I say that, Pavonis gets taken down. Response may be coming through. And Nine Bar still with the aggression. Going in for the wall bang, doesn't manage to catch that player. Very aggressive start in here. Vinci in for the push. And Infinite will be able to get yet another frag. Vitality is not showing up at all. And Mark will once again be the final player in here. Opportunity onto the takedown. Bison wins yet again. Now, let's discuss this a little bit, right? Um, is it the fact that, you know, uh, Vinci is just not as great as Whoopi, the best sniper in the Philippines? Or is it the problem with the adjustment that the snipers ha have to deal with in this season? I believe it is truly, more, you know, swaying more towards the adjustments made to those quick scopes, right? This quick scope has been nerfed. So all of those snipers from the Call of Duty Mobile previous seasons will not be able to dominate the way they usually drop in with those quick takedowns. Whenever they manage to pick those snipers up, Justin just mowing down the players from XDG Infinite now. Opportunity! Shuts down the final player. Cool on the defusal. XDG Vitality pulls one point back. So the nerf on those snipers truly have been affecting a lot of the plays. But still, you cannot leave the sniper out of these gameplays, especially for the search and destroy. So the balance that has been put into the game is going to be able to shake things up. And yes, it's going to kind of nerf, it's going to slow down players like Whoopi, but it's not going to make them any less lethal. The positioning is going to be key. Where they decide to take some of these shots, where they decide and when they decide to expose themselves will, really will depend on whether or not they survive. And look at that man, Aquino just dropping Ellen. On to the recovery. Justin backing him up. PP19 Bison in the hands once again. Vinci has not been taken down. The question is, will we be able to see him get the clutch with the DLQ? Or are we going to be able to see the weakness of the sniper on display through ways of war in the competitive scene? How viable is the sniper in these competitive scene games anymore? That one is M4 LMG. Take down Vinci, showing that the DLQ, that's the weakness of the quick scope once again. But of course, you cannot blame him, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Vinci doing so much so far. Opportunity, weakness of the quick scope, disability, but he manages to get that shot, needs to slide away. Opportunity once again, goes in for the aggression, doesn't manage to take down hit X, but this might just be a little too late for Vitality. And the numbers game catches up. Infinite picks up point number four at the halfway mark. XDG Vitality now with the opportunity to pull it back for themselves on the attacking side at the firing range. Let's see if or not they will be able to reverse out all of these points. Infinite has been able to pick themselves 
pick up for themselves and be able to pick the victory up as well. One apiece for each side. Infinite's not going to be too fussed about that at all. Vitality. Now with the push. Attention on towards bomb site B. Question is, how will they be able to hold this as All Right eliminates Aquino? That's DG Vitality as the moments will go on to pass. Pavonis with those shots does not manage to take down. He has got the bomb on him. And the approach for the bomber, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, will still be on that Bravo site with just one player watching for the plant right now. They should be able to take the plant, but it is a sniper at the end of the day on site. Mark manages to go in for the pressure. Vitality now onto the attack. Are we going to be able to see them go in for the takedown? The LQ Cheeksy is a PP19 from the back. Oh, come on, baby. Infinite getting the shutdown. Bison will be absolutely dominating in the game once again as XDG Infinite will be able to pick this point up for themselves. Vitality! They have dropped down to a 5-1 situation. Will they force the case? Will they just push this on towards, you know, a situation where it's almost possible for a comeback or will they just give up? Oh, opportunity! Mincy does not disappoint this time. Back to back in here with the snipes. You can take away the quick scopes. You cannot take away my anticipation. You cannot take away my speed. As Alan drops in here, Justin eliminated. And Vitality will now once again suffer at the hands of XDG Infinite. Mincy, integral for this gameplay. Integral for this victory. XDG Vitality may not be able to secure a victory for themselves in the search and destroy. Game number four might just be confirmed. Pavonis M4 LMG. Opportunity goes in for the slide for the reset. Pavonis right now. Oh, two piece. What a response. Turns around at the nick of time for that takedown. And right now, Pavonis on the move for infinite. Vitality still asking the questions. M4 LMG in his hands right now. Vitality. For the plant on mark, Pavonis, opportunity, and for LMG here. No, 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 behind, turns around, doesn't see the player right in front of him. This is going to be absolute craziness as the approach from the one and only Allen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, does not go in for the backstab. I thought he would take the opportunity, but instead he goes in for the rotation and he wastes very, very few Precious moment for himself. Mark as well as Pavon is a two-on-one situation here. And the opportune moment will set through. And for LMG from far away, Red Dot on the kill. Vitality pulls one back and pushes this into round number three. How long more can they survive? Can they ask these questions? Mark trying to get those power position takedowns. Doesn't work. Quincy opportunity. Ah, oh, beautiful. Justin drops him this time around. With the Bison. Comeback gameplay in here. Aquino. XQXR. Opportunity. But the plan is going to be early. And now 42 seconds on the clock. XDG Infinite. They are forced to respond. And here's the problem. Even if this gets pushed into... Round number 11. Can Vitality hold this? It's a one-on-one -on -one situation now. Nine bars for the side of Infinite. Vitality, he needs to get this clutch! And he does! And we are still alive in here as XDG Vitality will fight for their lives. They are not going down that easy to XDG Infinite. They want to push this to a round number 11, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Are we going to be able to see that? Are we going to be able to get that 5-3 now onto the scope? Mark with the aggressive push. Aquino right in front. And he's going to be the QXR. Opportunity. Oh, take down Alan. Two piece for himself. Hit X out of this equation as well. In front of here right now. For oh, Alan. Alan clutching the game. And XDG Infinite. Exactly how those numbers turned out in the favor of them, right? XDG. This time, they will pull it back for themselves. The side of Infinite 
vitality, just not that vital towards the very end in terms of the survival gameplay. 6-7 on, where instead of taking their own home base, they pushed in for Bravo. They pushed in for the warehouse first because that is the hardest point to pick up in this map. That Bravo point. For a very specific reason, it's smack dab in the middle of the two teams. The question is, who will get the aggression first? Alpha being picked up and this is what I'm talking about. XDG Infinite opening up and they don't bother to pick up their own Charlie side first. They drop in immediately for the Bravo pickup. But things was to turn out a little bit sour for them. Not only did they get prevented, they also lose the lead in terms of the points and it is xdg vitality who manages to secure that alpha site for themselves and will be able to lead the scoreboard for the time being but the question is how long though how long will they be able to stay in front because this is continuous pressure continuous plays back to back to control these domination sites, right? Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and right now, nine bars dropping in XDG Infinite. Not able to secure the site for themselves as well. It is Vitality, the ones who have got a little bit of a hold on that B site, but not able to finish it off. All right, prevention! KRM will be able to clear the markers off as well. And now Ace trying to help him out to secure this. Vitality might be able to grab this for themselves. And XDG Vitality with an early lead in the Hackney Yard, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Not going to be easy for the plays. And let's see exactly what is the game plan for the side of XDG Infinite. They will be making an approach towards the warehouse. Question is, how much can they pull off here for themselves? From that dock house right now, they are flooding in towards the warehouse. One player going in for the backstab. Are we going to be able to see him get it done? No. Backstab prevented. XDG Vitality still will be able to hold the forces of XDG Infinite back. But what do you know, Bravo has switched hands already. So it looks like Nine Bars did exactly what was required off of him. That distraction gameplay looks like it was just enough. But are they going to be able to catch up on those points? 37 to 41 in here. XDG Vitality. Opportunity to pick up this site now with the two players dropping in. But it is a numbers game that will be able to flush them out. A four on two turnaround. XDG Infinite dominating the warehouse right now. Bravo is on absolute lockdown. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and 46 apiece. Both of these teams from the XDG family do not want to give in that. The question is, of course, who will be able to stand tall? Who will be able to pull off the final points towards the very end in such a tight game? at Hackney Yard. 58 to 52. Now, Opportunity, Vitality on for the pick at Bravo. And the fight is still on. Vitality might be able to do this. Hit X with the prevention at the last moment. And the clutch does not come through. Vitality does not make the comeback in here. Prevention by XDG Infinite. Now, nine bars clearing off the markers for the side of XDG Infinite. And Vitality with the push of Aquino! In with the gravity spikes. Misses just by an inch, but doesn't matter. He drops right back through and gets the takedown at the halfway point. It is still XDG Infinite with the lead. Vitality. The victory at the first game has not been able to give them a boost in adrenaline, has not been able to give them a boost in confidence to be able to pick this victory up. And now an early charge of Bravo Vitality, picking Bravo up first before going in for the Charlie play. This is what I'm talking about. Aggression from the start. Vitality doing it right. Oh, Vitality! Vitality trying to take over Alpha as well. Are they going to be able to do this, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? No. Prevention will fall through. And this is XDG 
vitality, playing an absolute madman's game. They are not even capturing their own point. What is going on? And this is absolute craziness. They are giving the game away to XDG Infinite because they were playing a silly push all the way from the start, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. XDG Infinite now managed to pull up Charlie, but look at what has happened. Vitality with that Alpha as well as Bravo Hole. What they have done might have just been enough as they go in there for that push. XDG Infinite now needs to figure out how do they make a comeback in here. That was so close to playing out, not in the favor of XDG Vitality, but they managed to execute it to perfection. XDG Infinite right now, all right with the KRM attempts. And he will again take it down. 93 to 97. Team Red is still Vitality. 89 to 95. This is so close. Are we going to be able to see XDG Infinite pull this side back? Because the catch-up gameplay is here. And the points will be equalized at the next tick. And here we go. We are at a position of 98 to 99 on the board. And XDG Infinite. Oh, so close for the capture of do bravo vitality will be able to pick that bravo point up hold on to it and manage to pull forth in the game as well xdg vitality ladies and gentlemen boys and girls just when they got counted out they went in here for an absolute unbelievable push unacceptable push and they still managed to get the victory away from this situation. Are we going to be able to see them stop their opponents? XDG Infinite Vitality 121 to 110 in here so far. And it is the side of XDG Infinite that has got two points. And this is too close. This is way too close. Plus the strike being brought in right now, right outside of the base for the side of XDG Vitality. They want to protect their home base and they also want to go in for the push onto Bravo. XDG Vitality, can they pull it back? Because Infinite is playing catch up. 127 to 122 and this is it. So, so close between the two at Hackney Yacht. Vinci gets a three piece for himself, pulls the Bison out, shows everyone exactly why. It is such a dominant meta gun at the very moment. 133 to 126 in here. XDG Infinite has got no responses. But one player, one player is waiting for the distraction. And they should be able... No! Chikni just playing time a little bit too late. And they won't be able to get the clutch. They don't get the distraction. They don't get the final minute takeaway. XDG Infinite will go ahead to lose the game to XDG Vitality. The comeback is too late, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and it is all over. XDG Vitality will take the victory. Look at that match breakdown and crunch these numbers in here for you. Pavon is this time around rising up to pick up the MVP title for himself. 34-18-7 on the KDA with a total score of 4,790. XDG, all right. Not too bad. thing. it's only going to get heightened from here on end. So let's see exactly what we have installed. This is going to be game number four, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Hard point at Summit. And of course, to open things up, it will be control room number two. Let's see the side of XDG Vitality make an early exit in here. Beautiful KRM to the chest. Vinci with a double, triple take down. And this is just perfection for the side of XDG Infinite. Are we going to see them continuously dominate these games? Or will Vitality finish this off, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Infinite starting things strong here to show that they're still in this game. Maybe to uh, game number five. Maybe. And this is the fight for the opportunity, for the position, for the placement at the Grand Finals. Or for an opportunity to fight for spot number three. Which one of these teams will be able to move on to the Grand Finals, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? Only time will tell, but for now, Infinite with the absolute dominating gameplay. Aquino with a backstab beautifully taken 
But Enfield are just pulling it right back again and again and again. 36 to 6 and that is hard point number 1. But of course, we will not be moving too far away from control room number 2. This is now the edge platform. Hard point number 2 and Jixi is going to be able to ravage through with his PP19 Bison. Gets another takedown as well. Absolute craziness with the max size. But unfortunately, Ace is right there to take him down with his own QXR. Justin dropping right back in. And it's a PP19 Bison play once again. XDG Vitality picking up those vital points. And they are still in here. Not to survive, but to close this game away. XDG Vitality still in here to bring the series to an end. But they just cannot grab the hard point away. Now, as I say that, they do manage to pull away the edge platform. But just for a few seconds, 26 to 45. Infinite still with the lead. And right now, Vitality with the hard point in their hand. Beautiful Nate will be dropped. And uh, Justin will be popping right back through for those questions. But QXR, man, just outplaying the Bison. So a lot of you asking this question, whether or not the Bison is a, a usable gun, whether or not it is meta, it's definitely meta. But the QXR is just outperforming it a little bit in terms of the damage as well as the fire rate, right? Uh, Bison... Just takes a little bit longer to eliminate the opponents. Oh, beautiful. Oh, oh what a play by Vinci. Champion dropping in the gravity spike and then surviving long enough for the takedown as well. Aquino right now with the equalizer. Unfortunately, equalized in his own accord. And the cable car platform will be guarded by XDG Vitality. Comeback gameplay, hard point. Nothing is impossible. With one hard point, they should be able to turn things around and pull the game away as well. So far, Vitality has been able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with XDG Infinite at Summit. And right now, they want to finish this off. This is the map pick of XDG in uh, Vitality, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And the question is whether or not they'll be able to finally close this off. Of course. Depends on whether or not Infinite allows them. My apologies, I believe this is Infinite's a pick. Uh, you, you can't blame me, man. Both of them. XDG. <laughs> All right, nine bars popping off back to back. Vitality 69 62. And it's such a close game in here by the two. And Infinite just popping off with the equalizer, but shut right back through. And side gameplay coming in here for Hit X. And this is the meta that will just be flushed right out. Even the operator skills are now being banned in the pro scene. Which just changes the gameplay of so many of these teams. Vitality right now taking the lead. 78 to 73. Infinite fighting right back. Not allowing them to move away way too far. And this is the Blue Radar Station. It should belong to the Gorilla Base. It should belong to XDG Infinite. It should not go to XDG Vitality. But yet again, Vitality keeps picking it up. And if you want to know why, it's because Vitality already managed to secure the reset on the spawn for XDG Infinite. Flushing them out. But now... Still not reset yet. And XDG Vitality doing everything perfectly. We need to move all the way back into hard point number one. And that's going to be control room number two. XDG Vitality has been able to pull it off great at the Blue Radar Station. Can they continue to slay at the control room number two as well? And it looks like they might be able to do exactly that. Hit X here. Scorching Sun QXR onto the takedown. Back to back onto the slide. Using the walls as that backup. As that shield for himself. Surviving just a little bit longer with the movement. And he will be able to shine. But XDG right now. All right. Dropping in. Infinite with the KR. And back to back. Three piece in here. And he will be able to secure the hard point for XDG Infinite. Solo a stand here. Solo highlight reel for himself. But unfortunately, nine bars will be dropping in for that support. Vitality not able to pull this off. Infinite onto the yeah, gameplay for the catch up. But Justin right now brings his sight in. And I don't think Alright is going to be able to pull this off. He will be holding a line outside of this hard point. Six more seconds in here. One, one, two, one, one, three. And the contest will be dropping in. XDG infinite managed to prevent the pickup of a few vital points it's still very much close for the two teams and now we will be moving out onto the edge platform next dg vitality they can close this series off they can close this game off they just need one more victory in here xdg infinite fighting for their lives 50 seconds and 91 points this is not too far for the catch up at all edge platform onto the apps 
absolute lockdown and infinite will not be able to hold on to it for long vitality onto that 122 94 onto the domination ace holding on to the hard point all right with the slide krm should be able to take him down and he does infinite onto the hole on the back of our infinite three piece all right with the backup as well mincy gets the beautiful gravity spikes play and infinite is on the way back in here 106 to 128 60 seconds on this hard point and xdg vitality pulls it right back equalizer by all right unable to clutch the situation and xdg vitality now 134 to 108 almost clutching this game but they will have to wait for the next hard point they will have to wait for the cable car platform 140 to 108 right now can xdg infinite prevent the capture of the cable car platform not only do they have to prevent it they need to hold the full of the cable car platform if they can do that xdg infinite will win this game if xdg vitality steps in there picks up 10 points this is all over ace for the final play eliminated by allen side game play but no the final push dropped in this is the solid hole coming in here from xdg vitality xdg infinite cannot pull this off the prevention coming in very last moment all right with the opportunity slid in but just one more point should be able to secure this and x d g vitality secures a spot easy takeover x d g vitality not allowing the players from x d g infinite to pick this victory up so so commanding in the way they would take this aquino in here alquino in here with the mvp 36 24 to three on the KDA, and there's just no stopping them at this very moment. Are we going to be able to see more brilliance from this team? Because they have now booked a spot for themselves, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Vitality will be going on to me. Aim Admirals at the Grand Finals, and XDG Infinite will be seeing Vigile Esports to play off for the bronze position. 14,000 CP on the line here as the prize pool. The top team will get 5,000 CP. Second place takes back 4,000, 3,000 CP for the third place. And the fourth spot gets 2,000 CP, which means each and every single team in the semis as well as the grand finals will be able to take home a prize. The question is, who will take back how much who will be able to secure all of the fame all of the love from the community for themselves ladies and gentlemen boys and girls my name is aj and i am the mustachio please make sure if you love the way i am shoutcasting please make sure you go over to my page as well on 